By the 1980s, the bold social experiment in public housing at Northcott had faltered. The deinstitutionalising of state mental facilities had brought an influx of new residents. There's very lot of problem people here. They're either on drugs or they're, they're uh, got something wrong with them, but they don't interfere with me. If I say, hello, Dolly, well, it's best to talk to them because it let them see that you're all right with them because I wouldn't like to get in their way. So I just say hello to them and they say hello back to me, but none of them's ever harmed me. But with the arrival of drugs and crime, the situation at Northcott worsened. Police allege a man shot dead five people in a block of inner city flats because a neighbour called him a dole bludger. After a series of murders and suicides, locals started to call Northcott suicide towers. A couple of times I've been on the bus and we've got, you know, you get a conversation on the bus and I say, where do you live? I say, I live in housing. I'm not ashamed to say I live in housing. I say, I live in housing. But I say, oh, I do, and they look out the window. They don't want to know you no more. You can see they're uppish, you know. They don't want to talk to you. I'm, I'm blamed if I know what they're frightened of. Because I'm not jealous of them having a house. I own a house. I'm happy here. Until the early 1980s, most people...